Hi, my name is Scott Hebbard and today I'm going to demonstrate an Enterprise Architect feature that helps provide greater context when importing XMI files. It works by displaying placeholders for any element that is missing an external reference. The example on screen shows a series of requirements and use cases associated with an online bookstore. Imagine you hire a consultant to work on parts of the model, but you don't want them to see the entire model because it contains commercial and confidence records or bookstore transaction data. The best way forward is to export the requirements and use cases as separate XMI files. This allows you to distribute parts of the model without compromising data. To illustrate this point further, let us switch to the consultant's view now. To take advantage of this feature, please ensure that Create Placeholders for missing external references during XMI 1.1 import has been selected. This feature was introduced with Enterprise Architect 9. I'll now import my requirements. When I open the Manage Users diagram, you can see a number of requirements and placeholders on screen. I can open the requirements and make any changes that I see fit. I can also change the layout and position of diagram elements. However, I'm unable to make changes to the placeholder elements themselves. If I double click one of the connectors, you can see once again the OK button is greyed out and I am unable to make changes. This feature helps provide greater context and meaning to diagrams where the full picture may be unavailable. You can see that an element exists within a model and are aware that changes you make may impact another element. It can also be used to help improve distributed development, manage models under version control, and help improve model privacy. For more information or to download a free trial, visit www.sparksystems.com.